Welcome to yet another lesson today. In this lesson we are going to look at uh, a question from probability and statistics. We have the question on the whiteboard and it's prudent if we read through it. Allow me to read. Kaikai Manufacturers Limited Maintenance Department ensures that all machines are well lubricated monthly so as to reduce the rate of breakdowns. A recent study on oil usage revealed that 0.4% of the machines are lubricated using not more than 20 liters of oil per month. In addition, oil usage in liters per machine is normally distributed with a variance of 0.025. The farm uses 120 machines to run its operations and it spends 600 shillings per 20 liter gallon of lubricating oil. A machine that requires more than 20.2 liters of lubricating oil in a month renders an extra cost of 300 shillings. We are supposed to determine part A the mean monthly amount of lubricating oil required per machine. The farm's expected lubricating costs per month, that's part B. All that for seven marks. This is not a difficult question if we go through it one after another and underline the important information we get or we gather from the question. There is a part that pulls my eye. A recent study on oil usage revealed that 0.4% of the machines, so there's an important value there, 0.4%, which can be written as 0.004 of the machines, whatever number they are. And I gather they are 120, so you can say N, stands for the number of machines and this is 120. Now again look at the question 0.4% of the machines are lubricating using not more than 20. Not more than 20 means less than or equal to 20 liters of oil per month. So you can say these are liters of oil per month. Well, that's a good idea. And uh, reading further, we say, in addition, oil usage in liters per machine is normally distributed. That means we're going to, have to, to, to use, make use of normal standard tables if they are normally distributed with the variance. So here we also have another item variance which is sigma squared is equal to 0 0.0025 and from variance we can directly get the standard deviation which is the square root of variance so the standard deviation which is sigma is equal to the square root of 0 0.0025 and this gives us 0 0.05 whatever the units we are not going to really bother for now that's what we are going to get from first part of the question. The mean monthly amount of lubricating oil required per machine. What else do we need for part A? If we need it, it is written there. Now let us say that oil usage in liters per month is a random variable. Random variable. Let us call it X. So X1 is less than or equal to 20 liters per month. And the proportion that spends 20 liters per month or less has a proportion of 0 0.004. So we can ask ourselves, what is the probability that out of the 120 machines, a machine uses at most 20 liters per month? What is the probability? 
So we're going to say probability that x, x1, is less than or equal to 20. That probability is given as that proportion of 0.4%, which is 0.004. Perfect. There's something that we can also learn from that equation, that uh, if the probability of a machine spending 20 or less liters per month, what about those that spend more than that? So it can have a probability also that a machine spends more than 20. So if x is greater than 20, what is that probability? Total probability is normally 100 percent or it totals to one so you can say the probability that x is greater than 20 is 1 minus 0 0.004 which is 0 0.996 that's important really important now these values 0 0.004 and 0 0.996 can assist us to read values from the table if we draft a sketch of the normal distribution then we can have a tentative x here on the left hand side x1 is less than or equal to 20 at the center here of that normal curve we have the mean unfortunately we don't have the mean from from the question from the information given in the question but we can work it out so the proportion of the tail end here is 0.0, .0 Zero, 0.04. This is a row score, x1, 20. We can standardize that value, then get z1 is equal to x1 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Here we have x1, which is 20, minus the mean is unknown, divided by the standard deviation. Standard deviation, we obtain it from the information in the question as 0.05. That is the corresponding Z value. So if you drew or you sketched that normal distribution in terms of Z, at the center we have zero, then towards the right we have up to positive infinity, to the left we go up to negative infinity. So then we have on the left hand side a Z value, that's Z1, which gives us the boundary up to a maximum of 20 but that is corresponding to a Z value which we can read from the table. But before we do it, we can rewrite these two equations in terms of Z value. So probability that X1 is less than or equal to 20 is the same as probability that Z1 is less than or equal to X. Our X is 20 minus mu divided by standard deviation 0 0.05 and fortunately we have this proportion here we have that proportion that probability which is 0 0.004 and probability that a value or a machine spends more than 20 is x is greater than 20 is equal to probability that z i don't know what value that is is greater than uh, 20 minus mu divided by 0 0.05 and that proportion is 0 0.996 perfect now we take a step back and look at uh, that question properly what do we have and what do we not have what can we get from the table now let's draw a small structure for the table here for values of z and values of phi z now here phi z is the probability or the area which we can read directly from the table and our normal distribution tables we are using smb advanced tables third edition this one here on page 46 the corresponding value which has a probability of 0 0.996 is 
five two. Because of the symmetry of the normal distribution curve, the corresponding value of zero point zero zero four will have the same value, but it will be negative. So this is negative two point six five two. And from here we can use our equations to calculate the value of z. No, the value of mu, sorry. So we have 20 minus mu divided by 0 0.05 for this probability here, for this probability here, that x is less than or equal to 20. This one is equated to negative 2.6. Six, five, two. You see, from this equation, there is only one unknown because there is one equation. So we can work it out. Multiply both sides by 0 0.05. We get 20 minus mu is equal to negative 2.652 multiplied by 0 0.05. When you use your calculator, you get 20 minus mu is equal to negative 0 0.1326 powerful from here we make mu the subject and mu is equal to 20 plus 0 0.1326 and this gives us 0 20 sorry this gives us 20 point one sorry one three two six and that is the usage in liters per machine per month. That's the solution to part A. If we read it again, we can get a solution for part B. We are supposed to get the firm's expected lubricating costs per month, which is now quite simple. Because we are running out of space, we can wrap this section and start doing part B of that question. Allow me to wrap this, then we create more space. Done. We are supposed to get the firm's expected lubricating costs per month, which is very easy to do. Go back to the question and read again. The firm uses 120 machines, so we can say N is equal to 120. What else can we gather from the question? That we spend 600 shillings per 20 liter gallon. This one is going to assist us to get the expected lubricating costs. What else can we read? There is another value that x2, we can call it x2, is greater than 20.2. Because the question says... A machine that requires more than 20.2. So there are those that require more than 20.2. There are those that require 20.2. There are those that require less than or equal to 20. So let us take this random variable x to be x2 is greater than 20. What proportion of machines out of this 120 will be requiring 20.2 liters per month? We can work that one out. We present this one on a normal distribution curve. Then at the center here, we have the mean, which we had calculated, and we got the mean as 20.1326. Then there is an x value here on the right of the mean because it is 20.2, uh, which is greater than 20.1326. So x2 here is greater than 20.1326 and that value is 20.2. We need to know the proportion of machines in that region. So we want to calculate that proportion. We know we can get that value from the table, but first let us standardize x2 by saying x2. So it gives us z2 as x2 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And this gives us x2 is 20.2 minus 20.1326 divided by 0 0.05. When we work that value from the table, from the mathematical table, or we can use a calculator quickly, 
and have uh, 20.2.2 subtract 20 subtract 20 point 1326 we divide by 0 0.05 and we get a value of 1.348 1 1.348 that is our z2 so the rho score x2 is equal to 20.2 corresponds to a z score of 1.348 which we can read directly from the table because our table gives us to two decimal places this is approximated to 1.35 then we go to our normal tables normal standard tables under phi z then we get under z we know that z is 1.35 so we go to row 1.3 column 5 and read off the value where this row and that column intersect and that value from the table let me read from the table 1.3 1.35 that is 0 0.9115 0 0.9115 that is the proportion from negative infinity all the way up to z is equal to 1.35 so let, let me draw this one down here let me draw this one down here you can say this is a sketch of the normal distribution curve this is from negative infinity up to a z value of z2 is equal to 1.35 we get the entire area from the table so that area is 0 0.9115 what about the area on the extreme right above 1.35 we know that total probability is 1 so we subtract this one from 1 we get probability we get probability that z is greater than 1.35 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9115 quickly from the table this gives us 0 0.0885 that is the proportion of machines which require more than 20.2 this is important information in as far as solution to part b is concerned now let us draw a simple sketch of what these areas represent we can sketch this one here normal distribution curve a sketch of course sketch at the center here we have zero so there's a proportion of machines there's a proportion of machines which require at most 20 liters so x1 is less than or equal to 20 liters there is a proportion of machines which require exactly 20.2 liters and there is a proportion of machines that require more than 20.2 that's how we divide this region so we need to know how many machines are in each region so the first proportion here gives us 0 0.004 of the machines the second proportion here we can easily get because this area plus this area plus that area gives us one so this area the tail end is 0 0.0885 what is the proportion at the center there we may not need it but let us work it out so we have one minus the sum of 0 0.004 and 0. 0.0885 we get the proportion at the center there and that proportion is 0 0.9075 0 0.9075 the question is almost ending so what do we need to do we get the proportion here and the number of machines proportion here the number of machines proportion here and the number of machines so what do we do we get the expected cost we can call it e is equal to how many machines are here 0 0.004 of the machines which is 120 multiplied by what is the cost 600 we add what is the 
number of machines in this other part 0 0.9075 multiplied by 120 that the number of machines what is the cost out of that times 600 then we add the proportion of machines here is 0 0.0885 of 120 what is the cost the initial cost of 600 plus the extra cost of 300 now quickly using our calculator we can punch in these figures and get the expected cost so we have 0 0.004 times 120 times what is the cost 600 then we add 0 0.9075 times 120 multiplied by what is the cost 600 we add 0 0.0885 times 600 plus 300 is 900 and we press equal signs we get uh, this is 65,707, 65,707.65 shillings. That is what they expect to spend on lubricating costs per month. I think that is the end of the solution to part B of that question, which is a nice work piece of job thank you for listening let's meet uh, next time when we have a lesson and uh, if you like our videos please subscribe like and share and comment on what we need to improve thank you very much